today we're going to build some control rods. You'll need some thin CA. It does not have to be foam safe, but it is important to have a fine tip applicator. These are the new snap links from RC Factory. Cut one from the tree. Check the end of your rod to make sure that it is burr free. There's a burr. Dress it up a little bit with a piece of fine grit sandpaper. Quick Link has a saddle molded into it, which will receive the end of the carbon rod. Will make for a nice strong bond. Next we want a small piece of shrink tubing, approximately 3 16 of an inch long. Slide the shrink tubing onto the end of the control rod. Position your snap link and heat shrink tubing so that they're all near the end. Apply a little bit of heat. Do this very sparingly. The quick links are also plastic and will melt if you get them too hot. Once the shrink tubing is holding the snap link in place, Apply a small drop on the end of the heat shrink tubing. Hold the snap part of the snap link up so that any CA will not run into the area that snaps into the control horn. Any extra can be dabbed away with a tissue. And if you happen to get some in the snap area, you can also dab it away and it'll likely be fine. Apply a little bit more if necessary. Again, dab away any extra that doesn't wick in underneath the tubing. You can hit with kicker or just a little bit of heat to set the CA. Again, being careful not to overheat the snap link. Test to make sure that it's good and strong. We're going to take the end we just fabricated now and snap it onto the horn of the aileron. Snap it, make sure it pivots freely. Next we'll cut to length, hold the control surface in the neutral position. Cut the rod so it is just shy of the nearest edge of the control horn. This will give you a little bit of adjustment but not be too short. Again, dress the end of the control rod. Cut a 3 16 piece of shrink tubing. And as before, slide the shrink tubing onto the end of the control rod well as another snap link. Again, making sure that the snap link saddle area is positioned so that it will receive the end of the control rod once the heat shrink tubing is shrunk down to size. Check to see how tight it is needs to be a little tighter, apply some more heat. Now we're going to hold the control surface in its neutral position and just line up the snap end of the snap link with the hole and adjust the length as necessary. We don't want to snap it in yet at this point. However, we want to set the length and then put a drop of CA on the ends right where the shrink tubing meets the snap link in the control rod. Any extra can be dabbed away. And again, if you happen to get some into the snap area, you can also wick that away as well with the tissue. If you keep the snap end of the snap link elevated, you should not have any problem with CA running into the snap area. 
snap the horn into the hole. You can use a small screwdriver or something as a surface to press against. And there it is. One aileron control rod with snap links on both sides. This control rod end was already built. However, to press them in, apply your fingers on both sides and squeeze together and you'll get the snap link to pop right into the hole. Here we have the rudder horn, same thing. Apply fingers on both sides, snap them in. You get a nice slot free connection. To remove the snap link, take a small screwdriver or other flat object and press down on the open end while supporting the control horn and the rod will come right out. This is very handy if you need to remove a servo or other sorts of maintenance. Here we have all the control rods done. Very nice clean installation of the control rods and the new RC factory snap links.